earlier in the year, there was a lot of criticism that people were making more money on the stimulus than they would by working, so they would either sabotage their own work or they would quit in order to collect unemployment. And I actually had a different feeling about it. I used it to improve my work. Um, I do private tutoring over uh, Zoom. It's over Zoom right now. I used to work at a tutoring center. And um, at, at the height of the, the, the unemployment program, I remember for every dollar I was making at uh, tutoring, I was losing about a dollar ten, if I remember correctly, after the taxes, obviously. But I continue to work, and the reason for that is that I used it as an opportunity to uh, do what I needed to do. You see, there's a big conflict as a private tutor. There's a big conflict between how to maximize what I make versus maximizing what the student is getting out of it. A lot of times, if I do very well, I get the student out the door fast. A lot of times, um, the students come from different backgrounds. And a lot of times, the parents, uh, what they want to hear and, and what they actually need are, are completely different uh, events. So I had a student, and um, when he would log into Zoom, he would often uh, be in such a hurry or, or care so little about things, he would misspell his name. That was the first impression I got out of him. I was tutoring him in AP Physics, and oftentimes... Uh, he had a very lax attitude, very casual, often dancing his way through the class. And obviously, I can't see what's happening on the other side. I, I would imagine he's looking at the clock and can't wait for the session to end. And one day, he's making a lot of careless mistakes. And so I tell him, you know, I noticed something. Uh, you've misspelled your name three times coming here, and uh, every time it's spelled very differently. Uh, is there a reason for that? And he gave a very casual response again. Oh, I just want to get into Zoom. I said, okay, um, can you treat this uh, tutoring seriously? Because I noticed that uh, you often um, put very little attention. Actually, one time we were working on a problem. And he put, he was so careless in copying down numbers and equations. It wasn't until we got halfway into the problem. Hey, that doesn't look right. What happened? Oh, you miscopied the entire problem. And it was very frustrating to both of us. And I said, how about we put a little bit more attention into our details? And so long story short, uh, I helped him with that, and I lost the student. Uh, he, he, I think three or four sessions after that, uh, my manager said that he's not coming back. Well, I said, well, is there any feedback? I was hoping to hear of if there's anything I could have done better. My manager said, no, he's learned a lot. And my guess is that all he needed was more attention on the, the project on hand, and um, he, he got what he needed, and I got a 10% raise by losing him. And that's what I meant by a win-win, right? And I feel sorry for people who are quitting their jobs instead of using this as a learning curve, right? Uh, see, during normal times, I could not afford to do what I did. And I like it. And unfortunately, uh, not too many people are, are, are multiplying their stimulus by doing this, right? I feel sorry. Thanks for watching.